Hey buddy, welcome back. I'm the Strides Professor. We're doing a little Nami action here. Pick Nami. Nami is very good with Lucian. Can apply some early pressure. Our team comp's pretty bad. This is game three of uh, promos, so it's not quite bad enough to dodge. Like I think someone would have to be like intentionally telling you they're gonna throw the game to dodge a game three. What's up, Gabriel? Jarvan is. Okay, Nidalee is doing well. Nidalee has to get off to a really good early start. Damn, I should have ignited the bard. I didn't think he was going to step back in. Basically even on CS. Two V one? I wonder why I'm not doing spell thieves. I uh, I just don't trust like the AD carry to do well enough to where I can get enough procs. And I just want to make sure I get my coins by like twelve minutes. This scales better later on to the game. I really just don't like Spell Thieves unless you're duoed with somebody where you know you can really use that pressure early. Nami is one of the better Spell Thief users, but... Maybe if you're like uh, Diamond Plus or something. 
spell thieves gets a bit more attractive because you know that everybody up there is going to be aggressive. Like, if you just have a farm off, the coin user is going to outperform the person who gets spell thieves. In terms of gold generation as the game goes. As soon as I knew he was going to take that tower shot, I knew we could just go at it. And that Lucian uh, Triumph, after each kill, Triumph Brock really uh, kicked in there. I like that. Um, I don't want to get too greedy. I would like to get a book here, but we'll definitely go Ardent since Lucian's pretty far ahead now. Lucian's exceptionally good with Ardent Sensor too because each one of those shots... Uh, procs the Ardent. Or, like, gives that extra on-hit damage, so. An enemy has been slain. Nice. Okay, Nidalee's going off. Nidalee's a very powerful jungler in, like, Challenger. The kind of solo carry jungler in Challenger, but usually it's very rare to see a good Nidalee under Diamond. But we don't throw it right here. Okay. Chicken. Off of the uh, Galio coming in hot. It's pretty funny. Now let's go get that. Now let's get this. Then there's the somber reminder. There's always one. Wanting to flash on somebody there. Wait. He's got Predator? That's pretty funny.
Do you ever play Pike? Yeah, I played him earlier tonight. I do have a Pike playlist on the channel too, if you want to check it out. I have like maybe eight Pike videos on there. If you just want to watch like all Pike when the stream's offline. I have a playlist for a lot of different champs. So you can just kind of see like sort of what's up with that. So I think we ended up giving up. It was like three for one or something, but we did get a top tower. So a tower is really good. A tower, I think, is pretty easily worth two kills. It depends, of course, on different situations, but... Oh my god, for real? <coughs> Damn, that was stupid of me. Why did I even have to try? Like, they had him dead. There's like a 0% chance he gets out of that. I was just really greedy and just wanted to chip in. Before like someone else came in to help him, but we have vision everywhere. That was definitely a fail. All right, so we're gonna finish that. Uh, then we'll just get a couple more of these. We'll probably go for Athens next. I bailed him out, giving him a free kill. That's always the worst. Like the completely unnecessary deaths, like 110% unnecessary.
Uh, I think we'll start out with this. Your team has destroyed a turret. Your team has destroyed yeah. <laughs> Which are doing very well. We, we've made a couple of okay plays. We've also made some a couple of bonehead plays in this one. Yeah, I'm really trying to work on just making sure that. If I have Ignite up and there's a fight and a bunch of people are dying, I'm going to use Ignite. <laughs> Probably. But I think I'm really guilty of just not using it enough. Just being way too conservative with it. So, like, right there, I knew there was, like, um, that Lucian was still going to be, like, in the game there and that Nidalee was flanking. And so I was like, well, if I just Ignite Jarvan, at least that'll kind of help get him lower. Because they have a better chance to make a play on him. Like, it doesn't always have to be a kill shot with Ignite, you know? Just got my hold back up. much what what devour did i know you could like stack it on camps i think like um dark harvest is supposed to be the new devour sort of i think devour was for attack speed though i can't remember precisely what it did but anyways that's gonna be it so not my finest nami game of all time but i'll probably still post it up we had some all right plays you know in the laning phase and some of the team fights obviously nidalee uh did really well that game Lucian did really well, too. I kind of think I'll heart the Lucian. I think they did very well, but um, they both did very well. But Lucian was my, my lane partner, so I'll hook it up. But um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content on the channel. Come by and check out the stream. It starts around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time most nights. Like I said, if you want to watch more NAMI videos, I'll have a link in the description to a NAMI playlist. I also have a tier list, champion guides, topical guides... Uh, coaching sessions, all kinds of stuff on the channel. So be sure to come by, check it out, and thank you very much. Have a good day. I'll see you next time.